What's cooking folks, Vermillion Phoenix here, and we're jumping back into some more Super Sanctum TD. I haven't actually played this in quite some time, and I've been wanting to get back into it, so I figure I'd try another run of uh, the most recent stage that I haven't completed, which is the square. So, this is hilarious because it's literally a square, but there's another stage uh, which was called, where is it? Oh, wow, what was that? Uh, it was plus... There we go. And it basically looks almost exactly the same. Only I guess you get to do something a little different with it. So, don't think I wanna bring, uh, bring slow fields, but if I'm not gonna bring those, uh, Kairos would probably be the next best thing. You can slow air and ground with it. Slow field, looks like it should be able to slow both too, but um, Kairos gives you better coverage. But you can build the slow field, actually. You can build the slow field on whatever you don't have tower bases on, so. Eh, let's try it. Now, uh, this game also has a perk system. And I've taken basically all of the economy perks except for the one that gives you the extra skill, because you still have to place the skill in a slot. And, uh, yeah, I'm not gonna do that right now. I'm still unlocking the skill perk tokens, uh, which are acquired by beating the maps, so I still have that to go through. Uh, my current abilities selected look to be Mine, Bomb, Thunderbolt, which is like a chain lightning skill, and Reverse Time, which will take a group of enemies and push them backwards towards or rewind the area that they've walked through for about two and a half seconds worth of gameplay. So you get to sort of choose where these guys are gonna go. All right. Normally these bases that I'm building would actually cost money. Now I'm not sure if I made the right choice by taking the Violator over the Anti-Air Tower. I guess I'll find out in just a little while uh, if I'm actually able to complete this at all. Alright, and I think this sort of winding path back here actually allows me to do quite a bit. And I'm going to set towers up here because ultimately no enemy will need to walk through it. And if I want to place violators up there, I have the opportunity to. Uh, that being said, I think the best thing to do to start is going to be to toss a couple of lightnings. Uh, looks like we're starting with these guys. I'm going to have to path around first, but lightning in here, and then I can place actually two lightnings, doesn't sound like a bad idea, and then a couple of flamers, I'm going to place the flamers a little bit further in, and let's see what we can do with that, uh, one slow, right there, alright, so space to go, and then let's go ahead and speed this up. Now, uh, the mines are an activated ability. I have to choose to use it and then it's on cooldown until the ability actually resets the time. Guess I didn't have to really worry about those guys at all. Uh, I like to place mines uh, towards the core so that I know that uh, enemies will actually get hit with them. And that's sort of what you get to do with the rewind there, you can rewind enemies and force them to go back through areas where they will take damage. Uh, that little booklet looking thing was uh, essentially a... Back through that. that was a, a, one of the economy bonuses uh, by taking it while I thought that chain. Uh, you get to force enemies to path back into areas where they would take damage, which is amazing. 
Alright, so I have one more chance to make sure that this guy gets himself taken out. Looks like I'm good. And that way, if anything manages to actually wind through a long portion of this maze, then ultimately I'm still alright. Alright, I got made it really far. Alright, so now I think that's a healer. Uh, they have a little codex encyclopedia thing here. Uh, what is... No, it's a hover. Okay, frontal blocks. They don't take damage from the front. I believe that does not apply to energy weapons, so my uh, electric or lightning towers and flamers should be 100% okay here. Uh, can I upgrade any of them? No, 125 to upgrade that, 100 there. So I can actually make another tower, in which case I guess it would be another lightning. I don't see that anything else should be appearing here, so we're good. Let's go ahead and get it started again. Oh, whoops, I didn't mean to set a mine on top of itself. Uh, it's interesting because mines do still seem to have some sort of a priority as far as when they explode here. Even if you have them placed on top of each other, so it's not like it's ultimately just a problem. Okay, okay, maybe they do still block. Alright, that wasn't too bad. Let's try to blow these guys up at once. Alright, that worked out okay. Alright, they seem to have a ton of actual HP. I'm not sure if these mines are going to do much. Oh, okay, they do. Right, I got them. Not too bad. Just means I need much more damage to actually deal with the hovers. Uh, I need actual explosive towers, but I don't use any at the moment. So now we have runners and big walkers. Big walkers I'm really not afraid of. I think we have enough things to actually deal with them somewhat well. Okay, more lightning. I tend to use a lot of lightning in this game just because um, it causes like a really minute stun and that slows the enemies down long enough for the other lightnings to score more hits. So with a love, enough lightning in a small area, you actually get uh, more attacks from the lightning. Oh, not forget to place my mines. Never leave your abilities on cooldown unless you have to. Alright, that wasn't too bad. Good bombs. I think these guys are actually going to go down. That was nice. That was also good. I think I flipped that bomb. That wasn't bad at all. I don't think I'm going to be able to get to walk back into the but I think the bomb was like those guys. Yeah, and walk backwards. Hmm. I'm gonna try to take them out with the lightning red. Yep, letting the mines go to waste. Okay, now we have hovers and heavy walkers. Or armored walkers. Yeah, they take a bit less damage from physical weapons, but I use mostly energy, so I should be okay. Hmm, okay. Yeah, I think I'll do that and then put up one more lightning. 
And we'll speed these up. bomb these guys enough to actually take them out, but we'll see. Right, I like the way that that worked out. So the mines have a small radius. If I can keep the hoverers close together, I might be able to have something happen. Take them out of mine for you. Okay, so now we have some of oh, these guys, mutators, uh, they spit like this green goo on enemies that give them much higher HP and I think some damage resistance. They could be a bit of a problem, but what should we do here? Let's go ahead and put down a couple more slows. Uh, we will upgrade the lightning here and this floor. Then I think we'll let it go. And we're just gonna rewind him, make sure that he goes through that again and does not continue to give us any problems in the future. Always have to grab those as they are economy bonuses and you never want to leave those out to dry. Oh, good bomb. Nice combo with the rewind time as well. As long as this guy doesn't get to do anything, I'm fine. I thought I would have caught the other one too. That's weird. Oh no. Great. That's going to be a problem. I am 100% sure about that. Alright, they're gonna take a lot. Alright, how many mines are they gonna get through? One, two, three, okay. Wow. Alright, six heavy armored walkers, 15 armored walkers. 13 brood mothers. They're like upgraded runners. They have a lot of HP compared to the regular ones, but I'm getting to the point where I don't really have to worry about that too much. Can I upgrade this? Yes, I can. Max level lightning already. That's pretty good. I'm gonna add another flamer here, and then we'll be on our way. Uh, speed it up. Already have enemies close enough to be lightning. Oh yeah, that's a really powerful tower. Doing everything I needed to. Lovely. Don't think this will be that big of an issue. Main thing was just preventing too much congestion with uh, these guys. That was a really good lightning. More money, I like that. Solid lightning for the enemies I had left. Alright, we got another mine out. Ooh, alright, so now we have healers. 
armored walkers and soakers. Soakers are going to take a lot of damage, but uh, more flamers are going to be better against them. I'm trying to nest all of the, the flamers behind uh, lightning to allow the flamers to sort of synergize with them. Uh, that means that I should probably put the slows in between them as well. That would be the most effective use of them. All right. Now, part of my economy perks is I can sell everything at full price at any time, even during the missions, unlike a lot of other tower defense games. These guys are basically just going to pass around. Not too worried about what's possible on the uh, first few areas, but I can sort of, I think, save the reverse time to prevent them from charging up. Like that. Oh no. Got him. If you manage to hit him with enough damage, it should prevent the use of their abilities. Probably should have saved that one though. Charging up. Okay. If, yeah, if you don't manage to kill them while they're going to be charging, they'll release their abilities as an AoE kill. Not too worried about that one. As long as it doesn't happen in the middle there, it's good. map we have three waves left or is that the eighth wave that we just completed I'm not sure 36 enemies here heavy armored walkers armored walkers and some mutators I think we're pretty much golden here um, I'd actually like to increase the damage on this flamer can't do it twice though we'll do that and we'll let it go As long as he has nobody to mutate, I'm okay. Looks like we found somebody. Crap. Mutated heavy armor walker is definitely a problem as well. Alright, looks like we're still not really getting to that second ring, which is what I was worried about. So, I'll be alright. Healers, hovers, ooh, a lot of brood mothers. I'm not really worried too much about them, but I need to buff these a lot. Right, so we got a level three tower. Two level twos. It's pretty much the best we can offer, but we have a lot of mines now. Care about you trying to heal before enemies have actually taken damage. So. Ah, okay. Good. They're not 
not going to be able to heal while the pig comes in, which is nice. Back them up a bit. Okay, as long as these guys don't stay next to any of the group that's already taken damage, we really have no issue with them. coming out now it looks like, what is that so its base enemy type is a charger duplicates itself what 100,000 HP so I guess this is the boss version so when it dies does it break down into smaller enemies or does it just spit out a lot of other ones I don't know Gonna set up a couple of violators, and I guess we'll find out. Let me put a few more slows down too. There and there. All right, there we go. Oh, there are a lot of other smaller enemies showing up with it. Okay, so with all enemies on this game, if you manage to kill the boss, if you manage to kill the boss, you pretty much just win. So that wasn't that bad. Um, there is a hard mode version of every map, which gives you a fourth star, and I'll usually go back for those. Whoops! Oh no, I don't want to continue on survival. Oh. Uh, what I want to do is save and exit. Yes, there we go. So that's done. I get another perk token. We're going to uh, go ahead and add that to the slowing bonus. Uh, what this does is, um, for the first point, it gives a bonus 5% slowing effect to the Kairosa slow field. By default, the uh, slow field is 25%. It is 30 with the first bonus. It'll be 35 now. And the Kairos, I forgot what its base is, but it should be something similar. So that makes the slow fields even better at their uh, base cost. So that's really nice. Either way, uh, that's been the square. And I guess we'll be looking at the cross here before we move into Elysian, which looks to be the end of the normal campaign for this game. That'll definitely be super interesting to see. By the way, um, if you guys enjoyed this, uh, feel free to let me know. Uh, leave any comments about the game or what you think about it. And uh, I'll try to respond to those if any of them are interesting or they're aimed at like being sort of questionly. But other than that, um, I always appreciate you guys for checking these out. I hope you enjoyed it. And until next time, have a good one, folks. <laughs>